Refreeze overnight with the slick spots and windy Wednesday with gusts to 30 to 35. Light snow on Thursday night. It comes through here and it doesn't look like this. That's for sure. What a formidable storm, right? That we mostly missed out on across the Commonwealth. Although, got clobbered down on the vineyard and parts of Cape Cod too, which is typically where we escape a lot of the snow. You can see it in Halifax right now pummeling that province and there's some snow shower activity across upstate New York. What could this be? Ah, it's a front, right? You can see the colder temperatures, Quebec City, back through Montreal and Rome, New York and back into Sudbury. Look at the single digits. So this swings through without much fanfare here. Northern New England getting a little light snow. The wind shall now running in the 20s and some teens back through Worcester. See the wind, see the wind blow, see the wind get strong by the afternoon. Some of these gusts over 40 miles an hour. This is coming on a little strong in the afternoon, what we have is the cold air, of course, in the upper atmosphere, and the sun's trying to warm us up at the surface. So the two don't like each other and make the wind stir, and the gusts will be strong, and then they back off a little bit into the evening. There will still be a breeze on Thursday, just not as strong as tomorrow. So our wind chill factor now running in the teens for a good part of the day tomorrow and that howling wind. So if you're working outside, it's going to be a little difficult. Even by evening, we'll settle back into the single digits. Tomorrow's high temperature, 34 degrees. It's almost a misnomer, right? Because the wind chill will make it feel like teens and 20s. Now, Thursday, back into the upper 30s, there's a good supply of sunshine, but the clouds come in later in the day. Watch this little weather system that could come in through western New York and then swing through, give us a shot at some snow, and then move out very swiftly here across the south shore and down through Cape Cod. It'll mix with rain, so we're not expecting much in the way of accumulation here, really south of, we'll say, Attleboro and Brockton all the way through southeastern Mass. But this time around, maybe Livingston to Lowell and Newburyport to Gloucester, Boston, up across Lexington, Wakefield, one to three inches possible. I'd say more like one to two. Three could be the exception. And then maybe a chance at some flurries or snow showers on Saturday. Nothing big there cooking. But each one of those kind of reinforces the cold or at least keeps it sitting over us. So no big warm-ups in the next few days. Refreeze tonight, 27 degrees, and then tomorrow about 34 it's odd, isn't it? We go down to 27 and only up to 34 because that air mass is so cold tomorrow. Sunset at 514 these days. There's the extended forecast. You go into the weekend, still 30s, and then we start to crack the code next week, getting up near 40 degrees. A string of nice days coming up Sunday through next Wednesday. Nice dry stretch and a quiet stretch as well. We're back after the break.